Hi, I'm Lauren with the Secret Cellar Wine Shop and welcome to Two Minute Wine Talk. Today we have something extra special here at the Secret Cellar, which a guest joining me on my Two Minute Wine Talk, Ron Fielder. He's one of my favorite wine drinking friends, which we have enjoyed tasting some very delicious wines together over the years. And we're going to talk today about a few um, bottles of wine that uh, some of my customers have asked, okay, does this wine need to age? Do I need to lay it down? Well, there are some wines that are ready to drink right, right now. As a matter of fact, most of the wines on the shelf. However, there are a few high-end wines that develop beautifully as they age in the bottle. And that's what we're going to talk about today. It is. Mm -hmm. And what people don't know, Lauren, mm -hmm. about the secret cellar, mm -hmm. It is one of the few wine shops in the Midwest, and for sure in Iowa, that has a number of aged wines on the shelf. You generally can't buy anything that's ageable that has been on the shelf for a while that's available for retail. Lauren has 10 or 12 of those kind of wines right now, and if you look at all of these wines, and I've done a little research, if you just look at all of them that she has ready, here, here's what some of the folks out there that are drinking these wines right now are saying about them. They're delicate, silky smooth, they're in a great drinking window, textured, long finish, mint, baking spice, chocolate, earthy, I could go on. Mm -hmm. And Lauren is prepared to make you a deal on some of these wines. That's right. So first we're going to taste one of these wines and kind of talk a little bit about it flavor profile wise. And then after that, I'm going to show you a few of the wines that are fitting into our perfectly aged wine sale. So we'll talk about that. Okay, so we have, uh, like Ron said, 10 or 12 really delicious, I know, do you love it? It's a chemistry beaker, wine decanter. For all of your geeky wine friends out there, you all have one, I know it. So we have this um, beaker decanter that just tipped the shop. The wine we're going to try right now is a delicious Spanish gem, if you can see from the label there. Uh, the vintage is 2012, Numantia, so this would be a Tempranillo. Now some of you may not be familiar with Tempranillo out there, but I will say for all of you cab lovers in the world, bang for the buck. This guy has had a chance to sit out. It's not aggressive as it was when it was first released, and we're going to give it a little sip. This particular bottle, the one that we're tasting, happens to be even a little bit older than the one that we have on the shelf for sale at the Secret Cellar. So we really wanted to test to see its holdability. Does it age well or does it fall apart? So let's give it a sip. Wow, it is jam packed with fruits. Can you believe that? Intensity, depth of fruits, dark fruits, ripe fruits, ripe fruits. Almost like maybe a little bit of a stewed characteristic too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> Sometimes you can only describe a word with sounds. <laughs> really delicious. Do you think the texture is something extraordinary? Yes, textured mm. uh, uh, black cherry with some chocolate running through it. Dusty, dusty black cherries. Absolutely. Yeah, there's an earthy component to it. And it's not a wet earth. It's, like you said, almost a dusty kind of, oh, deliciousness. And the body is stunning. Now, this one is six years older than the one I'm selling on the shelf. It is holding up beautifully. I can imagine how the 2012 is drinking right now and maybe even hold on to that for another six years or so if you wanted to, if you wanted to. That's right. This may be a wine for people that maybe are scared of old world wines, thinking they're really aggressive, the oak is really strong, they're, they're uh, too off-putting in the palate. Once a wine has aged well, it can show up in this way that's so gorgeous and so layered and so silky smooth. So. Now, on to the other wines that are on sale. Have some others, too. I do, I do. So I wanted to show you just a few examples, and then we're going to try and get this one uh, cut short here. But this a little treat from South America, go figure, a Malbec blend. Um, this guy is, I would say, as Ron and I were discussing earlier, maybe one of the best well-aged and best values for higher-end red wines that I have in the shop. This is a 2013 vintage, so um, we popped one of these open maybe a couple weeks ago, and it was drinking stunningly. So that's one example. Another example is this 
a little treat from Bal or excuse me, Bonnie Dune Vineyard, the Cigar of Volant. It's a Syrah-based wine, really delicious. Uh, the vintage on this one is 2010. So California. I think, California, of course, yes. So we're in domestic now, and I think this guy would be drinking just really, really deliciously right now. And I have maybe a half dozen or so left of these. Mm -hmm. So what's the deal and what's the sale? What we're going to do is offer $10 off per bottle of $30 and above specially selected wine. So these are ones that are ready to drink now. You don't have to stick them in your cellar, you're on your way to a party, or you want to give a great gift and open it tonight. These are wines for you. Yep. That's great. Thank you for joining us. We'll Thanks. see you next week.